Welcome back everybody. Today we are going to be painting a sparkly robe. We have a slightly truncated video here because wasn't planning on recording this, decided just to turn on the camera kind of mid process here in case it actually came out good. So I already did shade using Vallejo Game Color Stormy Blue mixed with black, Stormy Blue straight for our base coat, and then three highlights adding uh, white to our stormy blue for each step. For this effect to have the most uh, impact, I'm trying to keep this color fairly dark. And you do have to be careful when you're adding white uh, for highlighting, especially to very dark colors like stormy blue. Teeny tiny amounts is all you need. Just the smallest tip of paint on your brush, mix that into the stormy blue, and that is good enough. Next comes our Sparkle Sparkle, and for that we are using Vallejo Model Air Gunmetal. And I'm just applying it in small dots using a brush for this. Uh, actually, it would be better using a sharpened toothpick or a pin or something like that. The reason being is a brush tends to deform as you press it against the miniature, so you end up with kind of oddball shapes. Uh, so it's, if you're looking for like more of a perfectly round dot, uh, using something like a sharpened toothpick works much better. I have a lot of folds on this piece, so thought a brush would help to get into the nooks and crannies a little bit better, but in hindsight, yeah, probably should have used a toothpick. And here's a real good example of why I prefer metallics over non-metallics, because look at the pattern here, how the light reflects off of it, kind of disappears in the shadows, and that's just with one coat of metallic paint. You just can't get that with non-metallic painting techniques. So now we are going to add a little bit of color to our sparkle, starting off with Game Color Green ink. And I have this thinned about 50-50 uh, ink to water. And just putting on a light glaze, this is going over our highlight areas at the moment. So we're going to tint all these areas green. About two coats is enough. And because it's an ink, it's going to let the sparkle shine through and just give it a little bit of a green tint. Each area of the cloak, robe, whatever this thing is, is going to get its own glaze. For the base coat, we are going with blue ink. Have a blue cloak, so it makes sense to have uh, the blue glaze on those base coat areas. Again, about two coats, maybe three. Keep in mind, the more you glaze, the more we are gonna cover up uh, the sparkly pattern. So uh, there is a point where you don't want to go past, otherwise you start losing the effect you're trying to achieve. And then finally for our shadows, violet ink in there. If you notice, we are following the color spectrum uh, of Roy G. Biv, so we have uh, green, blue, violet, which means these colors uh, naturally uh, transition from one to another very easy. If we were doing this with green and red and then, I don't know, blue, it'd be a little bit more difficult and wouldn't look as pleasing to the eye. But all these colors just flow right into each other. And that is it, easy peasy. We have a very uh, nice effect that was easy to achieve. Essentially, we just did a little bit of highlighting and then just did dots and a few glazes to cover uh, or tint the dots. And using real inks for our glazes as opposed to using uh, paint or contrast or something like that uh, really lets the sparkle of the metallics shine through. And as you can see the figure turning, you can see a few areas look a bit shinier. And you know, as the light changes, they get a little bit harder to see, which is perfect. It's the exact effect that I wanted. 
So that is it for the moment, my friends. Jaw is still trying to heal, uh, so that explains why I'm still talking very weird and slow. But uh, next time, I think we're going to be painting a very annoying unicorn. Tune in for that. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. Good night, Mother. Good night, John Boy. Good night, Hardcastle. Good night, McCormick. Good night, Chief. Good night, McLeod. <laughs>